All right, we're hopping the game, and oh, son of a bitch. Cyril got his main race for this first one. Also, worth noting, this is not a best of one. This is the second round match, even though it's our first cast of the day. There are best of ones in that first round, so... Um, yeah, Winter kind of just, <laughs> they could see that you got your main race, like, son of a bitch. In the bottom left side of the map, he streams on Twitch. He, oh my god, his fucking decal, are you serious? <clears throat> god damn it. <laughs> it's gonna be Winter. In the top right, as the blue Zerg, he is Cyril. Okay, so there's a couple things to talk about uh, regarding this tournament, obviously, but the first thing, notably, for anybody watching the VODs, this is random versus random. Cyril getting Zerg is obviously the best case scenario for him. Now, these two did something interesting where they told each other their race right off the bat. There's no rule in this tournament stating you have to do that, so that's just on them to be courteous. <laughs> Personally, if I'm looking to win a random versus random tournament, I don't think I'd tell anybody my race at any point during this thing. Okay. So, Lambo asked a good question, though. If they lie to you, does it have any effect? Like, are there's they no punished for that? There's no rules for or against it, so it's up to you to trust them. That's what I said. Don't trust anyone, Lambo. He yeah. Was, he was not happy with that answer. Maybe I'm sorry, dude. You're going to have to just... Squiggly line. You're going to you know? have to scout, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, no. That's why everyone should be cheesing, because if you have to scout, then they might not basically is, is the is the problem okay uh, people are too greedy to sub in a donation to get to in a moment the other thing i wanted to talk about is we changed the prize pool for this it was originally 150 dollars for first place and 150 dollars for second place mm -hmm. the idea of this random versus random tournament was for fun and frankly probably shitty games we just want to have a really good time and it was a subscriber to the channel who's requested to remain anonymous who who funded this they said base rate tv look i've got this money i really want to see this crazy thing that's never been done or hasn't been done often enough for me to know about it would you guys take care of it and i said without question my friend so that's why this tournament's happening today and we split up the prize pool because we really didn't want to have like a salty finals we're like look man pride on the line i would have beat you if i got my main race like it shouldn't matter so the prize pool was 150 150 but because a lot of people were complaining we have officially changed it to let everyone know the new prize pool is 151 for first place and 149 for second place it's two dollars man it's two dollars it's on the line man win. Gonna win. I mean, that's pretty much the definition of a coin flip right there. If you're ca if you're in Canada, you take that toonie there, eh? You toss up for a flip and see who wins. No dart. Uh, seriously, though, the it, I guess I shouldn't say the amount of complaints because once again, it was mostly like the vocal minority, right? Well, as far as we but know. <laughs> any complaints at all about this are not going to be taken very seriously, I guess. Like, it's all in good fun. Like, the prize pool is kind of silly, but it's supposed to be fun. People were like arguing that, like, well, the end, like, people aren't going to be like, you know, taking it seriously. And I'm like, well, it's a random versus random tournament. So, like, how much are they already taking it seriously? We is kind this... of up in the air. We should call this the Hearthstone tournament. Ah! Oh, this RNG. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, we should have. But, anyways, and like, someone was also like, you know, oh, I don't like being random. I, I wish it was like off race versus off race. So, things like Zero Gunning's Mainers never happen. I'm like, again, like, so actually, just for fun. yeah, that's that's the focus of today, guys. We do so much stuff where we like try hard, quote unquote. Like I'm glad to just have like a bit of a fun cast day. Uh, now we did get a donation kicking off the cast. Five dollars came in from Dark Crusher EU. He says, "Here's to the Rifkin Pension Woo! Fund," and a new subscriber, new sub hype. That's a great way to start off the day. Motox Dad, double D's. Ooh. Uh -huh. You don't say. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, the adept unfortunately goes a little bit astray and leaves the zealot alone. Does get caught. This is why you uh, don't overextend in any game you play, guys. League of Legends, StarCraft 2. Game of life. Yeah. Don't get married too soon if you have debt. Definitely don't have a baby when you're in like ninth grade. Can that happen in the game of life? I don't know. I was thinking more MTV. I didn't realize you are talking about the board games. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so anyways, we haven't talked a lot about the builds for this, but again, just kind of going back for a second, Winter, he's playing at two different disadvantages right now. One, the daunting aspect that Cyril got his main race. B, the fact that he's playing on the European server. Um, is this he... is this is a little unfortunate for him. Is he playing Stalker all inning? I think so. What? This... On Dusk Towers? Right, if this is Ruins and Stars, I would actually give a lot of, like, Tasia claps to this build, saying if you could cheese Cyril with a build like this, by all means, go for it. 
Uh, it might be a little bit more difficult to pull off here, but at the same time, this is one of those things where Will Serral... Because it is Dust Towers. Who does that here? Will Serral expect that? I, it's a good point. Um, usually in Dust Towers, you both uh, expect each other to get to third, maybe even fourth bases, and you do spend a lot of time droning up, which, you know, is going to be bad if you're actually getting all in. Now, Serral didn't really get a great scout with that uh, Overlord. It's all two gateways, and a Twilight Council on the back as well, but not like, you know, the eight gateways or how much it is, six gateways, seven. He forgot to turn a gateway into a work gate. Anyways, um, and might not be prepared for this. He is getting a Spire, which is not going to help you yeah, soon enough. Yeah, this is actually... Mm, this isn't too bad for what Cyril currently has on the field. Winter hitting now might just be super sweet. Uh, it is a supply disadvantage, make no mistake, but... Uh, he was banking money, I think, hoping to get to Mutas. Now starting to invest in Lings, 20 more on the way. Uh, it was only a small handful at first. Gotta make sure he doesn't get hit by those cursed Biles. Blink it back, not too bad. Yeah. I mean, oh, he the doesn't have real... high ground vision. Oh, he doesn't have high ground vision. Oh, yeah, well, that is the real power of the Blink Soccer Push in general is having some, well, first of all, high ground vision just in general, but also some place to actually blink up to yeah, and dive. get away from the army. Oh, he does with the Warp in time. Like, this isn't going too bad. Like, Winter, keep in mind, guys, I cannot describe to you how much it sucks playing on another server. And Winter's actually handling this pretty well. Blink's been on point. Cyril's getting shot. There's Lings and Roaches in the way. He's pulling the drones. Zombie Grub, is this God. happening? Is this Good happening? God. Cyril, please. Actually, the drones might be enough here. He doesn't have another warping coming in. Uh, they're in the far back, so the stalkers are a little bit overextended. We talked about overextending before. So those weak ones that were supposed to live forever start dying. Cyril evens up the army supply at the cost of drones. This is still not safety for him, though, because contending with this Bling Stalker army isn't going to get easier. But uh, this is definitely, I will say, better for Winter than I expected. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, the Spine Crawl is going to really help out here. All the Ravagers do morph in, and they're about to have plus one as well. I'm not Ooh. sure what the Force Field is going to do. Nothing. I think Guardian Shield was perhaps the intention before you had to blink away. Uh, I would have actually really liked Guardian Shield for this situation, but... Uh, continuing to blink his ass off, and again, credit goes to Winter. Oh, that's it. Uh, there's the Warpers are going down, that might be the end. I was gonna say though, like, he didn't get hit by more than like one Corrosive Bile through that engagement. That's combination skill, combination you're fighting against luck. Like, I never thought I would be complimenting Winter on something like this, but that blink control is pretty sweet. Yeah, it was pretty good, but at the end of the day, it's a map that wasn't really designed to be good for Blink Stock or all ins. In fact, quite bad, as you already have control of the third base by the time it hits, so. Oh. oh, shit! Ooh. That's my reaction to a $50 donation. No message attached, but it's from Oh Fuck You. Well, it says hey. Oh You, but <laughs> I think we all know who that is. So, uh, thank you kindly, sir. By the way, with no message attached, we'll keep an eye in chat because uh, you need to let us know what race you want to nerf for those kind of dollars. Now, uh, Winter is going to follow up with continued blink all in. I mean, it was really his, it is really his <laughs> only option. Um, if Mutalists actually come into play at any point and start going around the map, you know, that's where he loses all chance of reinforcing because he would mined out and losing what probes he has at home. Uh, going up the ramp again without high ground vision, though, continuing to be a bit of a problem. Force field's coming down. Soccer's going to eat some of those corrosive bows, but not much. Splitting in the back end, though, not going to work out so well for him. And Cyril's got a 74 army supply lead. This time around, this isn't going to work. Yeah, not at all. GG. GG. Game one is going to go to Cyril. Yeah. That was pretty close, though, and there's always the hope that Cyril what? gets Terran.